101.1 The Beat, the hip-hop station. You're inside the Nina Cruz Show. This weekend, it is going down. Um, you have seen him all over MTV. As a matter of fact, you've never turned on MTV and not seen him on there. The one, the only, the man. And he is pretty bandaged up right now. Steve-O! Yeah, <laughs> Good morning, honey. Good morning. I would say how you feeling, but, um, well, damn. It hurts a little bit. Just but, a little but bit. But not as bad as it did before. Okay, what did you do? Um, well, I want my, my next comedy special to be like super epic and sell for millions of dollars. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm making it, uh, not just a comedy special, but also, um, kind of a jackass event. So I'm working with our director, our jackass director, mm-hmm. Jeff Tremaine. And I'm just doing every gnarly, huge stunt that I would do for a jackass four and just working it into my comedy special. Which is just super multimedia and rad. Um, so yeah, I, I turned my living room into uh, like emptied it out. I, uh, I I just loaded it up with rocket engine fuel, and I did all these <laughs> explosions. And uh, I got second and third degree burns all over my arms and my back. Um, five days after the fact, I mean, I was trying to power through it. Yeah. And five days in, I just tapped out. The, the king of pain took a knee, <laughs> and it showed up at the hospital where they told me. Uh, I needed emergency surgery <laughs> to um, to cut off the burns and uh, sew on cadaver flesh. Now, so, now, so, Stevo. So I have skin from seven different dead people sewn, oh my God. sewn all over fifteen percent of my body. Yo, there goes that money right there. Stevo Tippy right. Improv. Two shows uh, tonight. Two shows on Saturday. Now, you did say you have a wonderful girlfriend oh, who, who has your back. I saw on your Instagram. There she's she was best. laying in the bed with you she, while she you flew, were. She flew her ass out to Denver to, to stay with me in the burn unit. Like, how does she react to some of this? Like, it, okay, I mean, she's, she's she's so gnarly. Uh, like the the um. The morning after I got burned, right, mm-hmm. like, and, and all the skin's coming off my arms, right, mm-hmm. and it's real important to to clean away that yeah. dead that dead skin because it'll it'll yeah, cause an infection. Yeah. So like I got like swaths, like my whole bicep, right, like the uh, my whole all the skin from my bicep came off. It's just this, it's called sloughing <laughs> off, and I and I threw it in the toilet, right. So it's it's I, so then then my girl's filming me. This is so gross. And, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm filming in the toilet. I'm like, that's what all the skin on my arm looks like, rolled up like a doobie. And I, and I reach into the toilet and pull it out, right? And it's just like this big swath of skin. Mm-hmm. And I'm holding it up while my girl's filming me. And I go, I shouldn't eat it, right? I mean, out of the toilet. And she's oh like, she's God. like, why not? You're on antibiotics. Oh <laughs> oh I go, I'm like, she's the one. Oh she's the God. one. Yeah, at that point, you should have got down on one knee and uh, been like, babe, marry me. It's done. Uh, I will. I, I'm so 100% sure I'm going to marry her. Like, uh, it's crazy because I'm like, you know, my whole first comedy special was about how, uh, like, I, how I became a sex addict. You know, like, mm-hmm. I, I be, like everything I did, the links I went to to become famous was really just so that I could plow through beef. You know, <laughs> and, uh, and and I and I, and I had all these, dream. I had all these these graphic groupy sex stories mm-hmm. on my, you know, my first special, and it was hilarious. But at a certain point, I'm like, I don't want to live this way. This isn't the road to being happy. And yeah. so I tried to stop hooking up with with random chicks uh-huh. on the road, and that didn't it didn't work. I couldn't stop. And so I got into therapy, and they're like, Yeah, dude, you need to go to sex addict rehab. And I did that, <laughs> and uh, and I was like, I just got on this kick. I'm like, I'm gonna do stay in therapy. I'm gonna do the twelve steps for everything. I'm gonna I want to just work and work and work to become the man that the love of my life deserves because That's she's awesome. out there. And I'm not gonna meet the right person until I am the right person. So I just did all this work, and then here I am, and, and I found her. You know, she came I along. Did-